Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. And if you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, workmates, family members, friends. Today, 844-236-6010 is our number. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products, skin health, if you want to wean yourself off your meds, you can get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you've got questions about the longevity business, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website, or also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in checking out our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made with 5% of the good stuff, retinol, all my truth treatment products just have the good stuff. No preservatives, no fillers, no waxes, no silicon, no oil, no nothing that your skin's not going to use, no nothing that your skin has to process and detoxify like a preservative or a perfume or a fragrance. Just the good stuff, folks. Retinol 5% gel, truth serum. Truth Balm and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Once again, we're talking about vitamin E, our protection vitamin. These days, everyone needs protection. We live in a toxic environment. We eat toxic food. We drink toxic water. And anything we could do to protect ourselves from toxicity is going to be in our long-term health interest. And vitamin E is the quintessential protection nutrient. That's its raison d'etre. That's its reason for existence is to protect the body, specifically to protect the fatty components of the body. This is why you see vitamin E in skincare products. I used to use vitamin E when I wanted to uh, protect the fatty components of my skincare when I was working with oils. And I, I try to avoid using oils in skincare products, but if I'm formulating for somebody else who isn't trying to avoid oils, I'll use vitamin E to protect the oil component of uh, moisturizing creams, anti aging creams, and such. Vitamin E does the same thing in the body, particularly in the outside part of cells, the cell membrane. We say all the time on this program, all disease is cell disease. It doesn't matter where your disease is showing up, what part of the body is showing up, unless you're a doctor. If you're a doctor or you're a specialist or you're an insurance company, you need to know what tissue or what organ is defective because you've got to bill, you gotta, you gotta, uh, bill the patient. So we get identified, or illnesses get identified by the particular organ or the particular structure that's affected. But really, it's not about the organ. It's not about the gallbladder if you have a gallbladder problem. It's not about the liver if you have a liver problem. It's not about the bone if you have a bone problem. It's not about the skin if you have a skin problem. It's about the gallbladder cell. It's about the liver cell. It's about the bone cell. It's about the skin cell. And in this way, 
all health challenges are generic because they're all about the cell and it doesn't matter what part of the body is affected unless, of course, you get paid that way, i.e. you're a specialist. Special diseases are only for specialists. They're not for healing. That's why specialists don't heal anybody. You've got to work at the cell level. All disease is cell disease. But now, even more fundamentally, all cell disease is cell membrane disease. It's the membrane that breaks down first. It's the outside coating of a cell. If you want to know what a cell membrane is, think about a hard-boiled egg. An egg is a cell. A chicken egg is a cell. It's an egg cell. We call it an egg, but really it's an egg cell. The membrane of the egg cell is, a, is that, that thin tissue that covers the egg when you hard boil it. You hard boil the egg, you've got the shell on the outside. An egg, cell, an egg cell, a chicken egg cell has a shell on top of it, unlike our cells. But if you get rid of the shell, you'll see a thin membrane on top of your hard boiled egg. That's the cell membrane. And that thinness of the cell membrane compared to the size of the egg is, is a good approximation of the relative sizes of our cell membranes and our cells. So the cell membrane is this tiny, thin coating of oil on the surface of a cell. And it is the major determining factor of not just the health of the cell itself, but of the nucleus, of the DNA, of the genetics. The genetics respond to the health of the cell membrane. The cell membrane is also... The outer coating on the cell is also how cells talk to each other, how they communicate to each other. You've got 100 trillion cells in your body. We are a country of 100 trillion citizens. Can you imagine this? we got a country in the United States where we have 300 billion citizens, a fraction of 100 and trillion, and we can't get along. But somehow the body has figured out how to... Or how, to, how to maintain its structure and organization to such an extent that, for the most part, we live 80 or 90 years with very little problems. Even if we have health issues, for the most part, our cells are operating pretty nicely. Our cells are communicating to each other. They're talking to each other. They're cooperating with each other. We have a country of 100 trillion citizens that are, for the most part, getting along. And when they don't get along, when they don't communicate, when they don't listen to each other, you can rest assured the defect is at the membrane level. Cancer is a cell membrane issue. That's right. Cancer cells don't listen to each other. This is the hallmark sign of cancer cells. They're not talking to each other appropriately. They're not communicating to each other appropriately. And it starts off with defective cell membranes. Otto Warburg talked about this in the 1930s. He talked about the relationship of oxygen to cancer. And the cell membrane is our oxygen magnet. So anything we could do to keep that outside part, that membrane part, that fatty part, healthy and strong in a cell is going to keep our cells healthy and it's going to reduce the likelihood or eliminate the likelihood of disease, including cancer. And guess what? Vitamin E is the quintessential cell membrane protecting vitamin. Oh, and guess what else? Vitamin E deficiencies are very common. That's because, as we said, vitamin E is not found in a lot of foods. So vitamin E is our protection vitamin. It protects the outside part of the cell. It protects the membrane of the cell, particularly super fatty cells like brain cells, nerve cells. It protects everything. It protects all the cells in the body. But particularly the fatty cells with uh, the brain cells and the nerve cells, also blood cells, red blood cells, which are very dependent on fats in their outer membrane. Defects in the outer membrane of a red blood cell can be involved in blood clotting and circulatory problems and Vitamin E protects the outside part of a red blood cell like it does any other cell. This is why vitamin E is the ideal, I mean the ideal, uh, uh, heart-protecting vitamin. Anybody who's dealing with heart disease, anybody who's dealing with circulatory problems, anybody who's dealing with blood clotting problems, needs to understand the importance and the power of this spectacular, spectacular vitamin that most of us are deficient in. Oh yeah, liver cells. If you're dealing with liver disease... Fatty liver disease, NASH, they call it, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Vitamin E is also protective for the liver. And the more medicine you're using, the more drugs you're taking, prescription drugs or illegal drugs, the more you need vitamin E. If you're a cigarette smoker, the more you need vitamin E. If you have Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease, the more you need the spectacular vitamin All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com 
today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. I'm Farms is Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. If you miss a program or if you want to review a program, we give lots of information, so it's a good idea to listen once or tw- uh, listen more than once, twice, three times, four times to the program. You always get good stuff. I try to pack the program with information, and, and I've been told it's TMI, too much information, but I'd rather give you too much information than, than less information. And it's all, or most of it anyway, or a lot of it anyway, is original information. So if you want to review the programs, they're all up at brightsideben.com. Also, pharmacistben.com. There's search engines that you can use as well, pharmacistben.com and brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, and our Truth Retinol Gel, made with 5% retinol and a big, big, big dose of vitamin C, fat-soluble, stabilized, premium vitamin C, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, speaking of the skin, we're talking about vitamin E. Very important for the heart, for the blood, for, the, for all the cells of the body, but really important for the skin. Vitamin E has sun protection properties. Vitamin E protects the fatty component of cells on the surface of the skin, as well as the deeper layers of the skin. Vitamin E is part of the skin. When you use vitamin E topically, the skin knows what to do with it because there's vitamin E in your skin anyway. Vitamin E is part of a natural sun protection complex that lives in the skin, along with vitamin C and something called glutathione, which is your body's primary detoxifier. Between vitamin E, selenium, vitamin C, glutathione, zinc, your skin is packed with sun protection molecules, sun protection substances. This is how nature, this is how the divine force wants us to be protected from the sun, not by slathering on a poison sunscreen. If your doctor, if your dermatologist, if your skincare professional is recommending that you slather on a sunscreen, find another skincare professional. I'm not saying you don't need sunscreen sometimes. You may need them sometimes, but as little as possible, as little as you need. It's much better to reapply a small amount of a toxic sunscreen. And I'm going to always say toxic before I say sunscreen because they are toxic. No matter what you hear. Yes, they're approved by the FDA, but they're still a drug. And they're toxic. And they will cause problems. They're cytotoxic. They kill cells. Try drinking a sunscreen sometime. When I used to get my sunscreens in at the pharmacy, I'd have to order it by the by the kilo, because I was filling prescriptions with my sunscreens, they have a skull and crossbones on them. Vitamin E doesn't have a skull and crossbones on it. Vitamin C doesn't. Zinc doesn't. Selenium doesn't. And they're in the skin anyway. And this is how nature, the divine force, wants our skin protected. Not to mention phytonutrients. Not to mention plant nutrients. So vitamin E, vitamin e is a non-toxic natural sunscreen, you get protective benefits. And by the way, you get those benefits internally as well as externally. So if you supplement with your vitamin E, before you, before you go out in the sun, you're going to find you're burning less. There's also an inter, interesting relationship between vitamin E and what we call the lymphatic system. And we'll talk about the lymphatic system a lot on this program, but you don't hear it about it a lot on, on health programs in general, which is unfortunate because... Lymphatic disease precedes most or a lot of chronic degenerative diseases. The lymphatic system is a series of vessels, tubes, much like your blood system. In fact, it is part of the blood system, technically. The lymph and lymphatic circulation is tied in with the blood and the blood circulation. They're, in essence, one system, even though we talk about them separately. There's a few differences between the lymph and the blood. The lymph doesn't have a pump. The blood has a pump. Oh, yeah, well, the lymph has a little bit of a pump because it's connected, but for the most part, the lymphatic circulation is so far away from the heart that it's not really impacted by the pumping action the way the, the blood circulation is. So how does the lymph move? It depends on us. It depends on our muscles. The lymph is tied into our muscles. The lymphatic system is tied into our muscle system. So as we move our muscles, whether we're moving our arms, we're moving our legs, even as we're moving our respiratory muscles when we're deep breathing, our lymph moves along with it. The lymph, the lymphatic circulation depends on body movement. 
for its circulation. And given 